Hey, hey, it's Wolf Daddy, and I am just finishing up animal care. And uh, that means I've cleaned habitats, changed waters, fed critters, and uh, it's warming up. So I think I'm going to head back out into my woods and uh, tell you one more story. I got great response. Uh, I wish more people would have seen it. But uh, pretty cool. Love your responses. Thank you so much. Well, I hope the sound is good. The sun is totally in my eyes, so I have no idea how this is even coming out. But here's my second story. This is one of my favorite raven stories. And it's an example of the, the amount of impact that uh, one can have on a group of children, especially when you have a big black and silver timber wolf with you. So we get asked to go to schools quite a bit when Raven and I were together, and we've traveled all over the Southwest, even to California, Colorado, uh, Nevada, just all over the place, and Texas. And uh, uh, very often schools will ask us to come in. We went to this one particular middle school where they put us in this um, sort of auditorium um, they had the kids had those metal fold up chairs that they were sitting in. They had them in rows, and in, and in front of those chairs, uh, a platform that was about the height of of the seat of those um, those fold up chairs. I remember that this platform had a red carpet, and that when I stood on the platform, my head was just a little ways from the ceiling, so I couldn't be as animated as I typically am. And uh, and so what I, what I like to do is I like to have all the kids come into the, to the auditorium, sit down and be quiet and allow me to make my entrance uh, with Raven. And this was exactly the same case. So and it, because I love to listen to the, the little chatter that happens when we walk into the room because they're instructed to be quiet, but you can't. You can't be quiet when this dude and a big black and silver timber wolf are walking up onto your little platform standing right in front of you. It's like, oh my gosh, whoa, check that out. I always hear like, oh, cool, man, I want one. So in this particular time and most of the times when I would start my educational programs, what I would say is, how many of you would love to have a wolf as a pet? Boom, oh boy, man, those arms go up. Everybody wants to have a wolf as a pet. And then so then I go, hey, why do you want a wolf as a pet? Ah, oh, because it will protect me. And, hey, why do you want a wolf as a pet? Ah, oh, because he'll eat my sister. And why do you want a wolf as a pet? Because they're so cool. Why do you? Ah, oh, because they're so beautiful. And I say, you know what? All those are interesting answers, but none of them are really true. Yes, this animal is beautiful, but beauty is not the criteria for a pet. But let me just tell you what could happen when you bring a wolf into the home. Now what could happen is that first of all there's this thing that wolves have uh, and it's called ritual domination. And ritual domination is something that's super important and it's a great learning experience. So let me explain it a little bit. Uh, this is just in a nutshell. I'm sure other wolf people will tell you more or less or a little bit differently. But let's just take in our mind's eye and let's picture a wolf pack for a moment where we've got mom and dad and a bunch of new babies who are only, you know, one or two months old. Older siblings from a year ago and uh, older siblings from two years ago. All of them are in the pack. And these puppies together are always roughing and tumbling and playing with each other. And they're discovering, they're discovering who's stronger, who's nicer, who's meaner, who's faster, who's bigger, who's more aggressive, who's more submissive. And they discover all that as they're playing with each other, as they're playing with the, the wolves that were from the year or two before that. And those wolves that are, were born a year or two before this, these little puppies, they're also teaching, hey, we're stronger, we're more, we're, we're more assertive than you because we need to make sure you stay disciplined. All these things are happening. This is called rich. This is a ritual, and very often this ritual turns into a ritual of domination. And that's where, and you've probably seen this in your own dog. So picture in your mind's eye for a moment 
uh, that your dog meets a strange dog that it's never met before. There's a ritual that typically happens, especially if they're relatively passive animals. Now, some animals skip the ritual and go straight to taking on or, or, or being super aggressive towards another animal. Not cool. Uh, but the, when the ritual typically typically goes that, so first stage is like nose to nose. So they're going nose to nose, and sometimes there's a little, a little grumbly, grumbly. And then another time, next stage is they might go and sniff each other's butts and see where that tail is rising to. But then you also might see a, a rapid, put a chin over the shoulder, real forceful, and often grumble, 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 grumble. And uh, and then from there. They'll very often go up and do what I call a side saddle. They'll sort of go over the side of the other uh, wolf and see how long they can kind of ride them. And very often there'll be a quick switch where the other one's like, no, I'm going to ride you. And then from there, uh, if it gets too far in this ritual where one animal is simply not going to like submit, roll over and give in, it might go to a full takedown where then the animal, one animal's on its back, another animal has its uh, head or its mouth on the head or the throat, and then one's on its back saying, okay, 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 I, I submit, I submit. So as I was discussing this with this group of kids who are sitting in their fold-up chairs right in front of the stage, this is the first time this ever happened with Raven and I, but I'm just, I'm explaining ritual domination. What I'm explaining is you don't want this in your house because when you bring a wolf puppy into your house with a bunch of kids, it's learning those same things. Who's faster, who's stronger, who's meaner, who's nicer. And one day, one day, that wolf might grow up and challenge another pack member, family member, humans, and we don't want that to happen in our home. So as I was discussing this, Raven, who's off to my right here, is looking at me intently as I'm talking to the kids. And I feel his eyes on me, and I turn to look at him. And he says, you want to show him? And I'm like, what? You want to show him? I'm like, okay. I didn't know what was coming. I did not know what was coming. Had never done this before. But I got down on my knees, just like I am right now, and I went nose to nose with Raven. I went, bah, 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 bah. and he went, bah, 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 bah. and then I put my chin over his shoulder, and I went, grumble, 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 grumble. And then he f forcefully pushed his chin over my shoulder, and went, holy smokes. And then I side saddled him. And he went like the side saddle for a moment and he flipped and he grabbed the top of my head and he started pushing it down on the floor. And as my head was going to the floor, I look up enough to see the first row of kids moving backwards into the second row of kids as Raven's <laughs> snarling and growling and got my head pushing to the floor and I could feel a little trickle of blood running down my head and I went okay this might be going too far so I put my hands like this and I reached in and I kind of made a lever a lever in his mouth to get his mouth off of me and then I flipped over and rolled over on my back and whined just like a puppy and he licked my face all over, and I stood up and I said, Now, how many of you kids want a wolf as a pet? And they're sitting on their hands. They are not about to raise their hands now. And I'm like, yeah, message delivered. So from that day forward, from that day forward, Raven and I would do that ritual domination. And I'm so disappointed that we never actually thought about videoing it. It was a time... This is in the 90s, you know, this is before we had cell phones and, you know, video cameras everywhere. So we just never got that opportunity. I do have a few photographs, which uh, you've just now seen, but that's about all that we've got. Uh, so anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed these two stories. As I tell stories, more and more just pour into my head and pour into my head because Raven and I definitely had 
the most unique relationship that I think that a man and a beast could possibly ever have. Uh, I, I just feel blessed and uh, still to this day completely and utterly <clears throat> amazed by the relationship that we had together. So thanks for joining me. If you want more stories, let me know. And uh, be sure to leave a comment. Give me thumbs up. Give me lots of thumbs up. Share, 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 share. And uh, tell people about Wolf Daddy. And, uh, and I've got more stories to tell. So I hope you're doing fabulous. I hope you have a con a, an incredible week this week. I love you all. Have a fabulous week.